In today's video tutorial, I am going to create a heatsink in MCS Design Modeler. Uh, first of all, I set to units uh, to millimeters, and uh, I am selecting um, Z explain for my first sketch where. Uh, in the z explain of the global axis i will create my uh, sketch to create the base of the heatsink now i press look at the screen and i go to the sketching and now i uh, create uh, a scared base over here uh, for the heatsink and the dimensions uh, of uh, this uh, is uh, this skewer or this rectangle is 100 by 100 millimeters now i again press look at screen to uh, visualize the sketch and i uh, select isometric view uh, for more clarity uh, in the X plane, uh, according to the uh, global axis, uh, we can see a sketch for the base over here. And now press extrude uh, to um, create the base body of the base. And now uh, we can see that the X uh, uh, this uh, sketch is uh, being pulled up uh, with the outline. Uh, of geometry of the uh, target body uh, you may see but I want uh, to create this uh, body in the uh, below direction in the direction below the sketch uh, so that I may create the uh, fins uh, over that uh, base uh, there may be more options but uh, I want to use uh, the direction uh, of the base in the reverse direction so that I can create fins on top face of the base. So I want to uh, take 2 mm uh, as thickness of the base and click generate we can see. Uh, this body generated over here and this is below the sketch and if I press uh, the direction normal this will um, in body direction will be inverted and when the body is above extruded above the uh, sketch now how uh, finally I take the action back and uh, I use this option with the reverse direction. Now again come to the ZX plane for uh, creating the second sketch uh, for the fins and now uh, I am clicking sketch number 2 and select sketch 2 from here and go into the sketching now uh, i create a circle over here with the dimensions of uh, diameter uh, 10 millimeters and uh, the center of this uh, sketch um, i want to give uh, some margin uh, center of the sketch uh, from this line um, I want to keep it at a distance of 10 millimeter center is 10 millimeter and the circumference of the circle is 5 millimeter away and similarly uh, for um, from the other uh, edge I also take the same length as 10 millimeter now I uh, will use extrude option in front of you you can see um, press extrude and uh, sketch 2 and apply um, for a length of not 2 millimeter now 
and now I want to take 6 mm instead and the direction is normal normal mean above uh, if your sketch is in Z X plane of the global axis then the direction of the fin will be in the direction of Y axis and you can see uh, over here now uh, add material option is uh, active here uh, and uh, I since I have to generate uh, some more uh, fins so I will choose the option add frozen here so that I can make copies over here now uh, create a pattern to uh, create copies uh, identical copies of this fin um, what is the geometry that I want to copy obviously this solid body you can select over here or select from the tree outline where the body is present and uh, direction uh, is uh, obviously uh, is the positive z axis I want to uh, create in uh, uh, z axis of the uh, global axis now uh, I will click XY plane in the tree outline and direction may be uh, changed uh, according to required by this sign the, the, this option uh, you may change the direction according to your requirement uh, so apply for the direction and <coughs> offset uh, for this offset I will take uh, a 20 millimeter and this offset distance will be the distance between the centers of the two fins uh, 10 millimeter will be uh, taken by the fins uh, first fin will take uh, 5 millimeter from center to its uh, uh, circumference and the second fin wall will also take uh, 5 mm from center to its uh, uh, outer edge and the remaining uh, distance which is 10 mm will be the gap between the two fins and now I want to uh, make 4 copies uh, which means that 4 copies will be generated here and this one will be the original total will be in uh, 5 in number so generate you can see here uh, uniformly distributed um, 5 fins in one direction now I want to um, take 5 uh, uh, similarly in this direction I will uh, take four copies of all these fins to have uh, 25 fins uh, mounted on the base of uh, this heat sink now again uh, create a pattern and uh, uh, click all these fins not the base base is not required to copy only uh, five fins are to be copied and uh, direction is now in uh, x direction of the global axis and which is normal to the z y plane so click uh, uh, y z plane and uh, press ok 20 millimeter again is the distance and four is number of copies and click generate and you have uh, 25 fins uh, over uh, on the base and you may change number of fins according to your requirement by calculating the uh, spacing and size and adjustment all uh, I have done it for 5 fins and the procedure I have um, explained here uh, you may uh, take uh, copy and pen to uh, create a heat sink with different 
uh, number of fins uh, and the size and arrangement etc now uh, uh, these are uh, fins are uh, not mounted on the base rather they are uh, present separately uh, in the uh, tree diagram now to unite all these uh, fins to a single body we have to use uh, a, a tool that is named as boolean and uh, we will have to use the op option unite there is also subtract etc however we have to use unite here and select all bodies from the pre outline or from by clicking all the bodies over here and click the body and you have uh, all 25 pins selected also uh, select uh, the base of the uh, all the bodies as well as uh, and base of the uh, heat sink uh, to create a unibody uh, object over here not 25 bodies are as pins and one body is uh, present as a base not 26 bodies are being combined to create a single body so click generate and you have uh, uh, heat sink unibody heat sink uh, which is our uh, objective of the today's tutorial